Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the server execution failed, error message you were experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And this error is typically associated with the Windows subsystem for Linux, so WSL for short. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I recommend doing would be to actually open up the search menu, type in Windows Features. Best match, you'll come back with Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to go down this list to near the bottom where it says Windows Subsystem for Linux. If it's currently filled in or checkmarked, you want to go ahead and uncheck it and then select OK. And then you might have to restart your computer and then you come back in here and check it again. If it was presently unchecked, like you just saw it on my screen, go ahead and check mark inside of here and select OK. And give it a moment here. And then once that's done, we are going to have to restart our computer. So go ahead and select Restart now. something else you want to try here as well, open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, go back with command prompt, go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to go ahead and type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem with the server execution failed error message when you are trying to access the Windows subsystem for Linux. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.